Hello and welcome back. This time we're playing a game with a very similar theme to Project Zero in which we will be uh, exploring and traversing a large man-made complex filled with very, very stressed out ghosts. Um, however, Unlike a lot of the ghosts in Project Zero, none of the ghosts in this game can be called evil. So let's just get into it. Today we're going to be playing a little game called Echo Night Beyond. This game originally... Oof, bright white... Oh god, this game originally came out in Japan under the name of Nebula Echo Knight. It is the third game in the Echo Knight franchise, and it is a From Software game. I'll let this little intro play. Little Moonlight Sonata. So yeah, uh, this game takes place on the moon, so this makes it a sci-fi horror game. And I think this game is neat as hell. Um, so, this is, like I mentioned before, this is the third game in the, the third and technically the last game in the Echo Knight franchise. Um, there was a game that came out after this on the PSP, but that was a remake of the original game 
for the PlayStation 1, so it's not really not really a unique release, it's, you know. And and this is a series I wish from software would revisit because these games are kind of neat. I don't know if you've ever played any of them, but um they play more like first person adventure games but with occasional ghost encounters and usually have to find a way to either avoid the ghosts or get around the ghosts or temporarily stun the ghosts. These games don't really have combat. You know what I mean? It's just like you, you have to solve, usually you, at, at absolute most, you have to solve an environmental puzzle in order to get a ghost to just kind of go away. So let's just check. What's ProLogic 2? Kind of cool. Go with standard stereo though. Okay. Testing. So unlike Project Zero, this game actually has Testing. some like decent sounds settings. <laughs> we'll leave it normal. If we need to adjust stuff in game, we'll do it then. So a lot of people will say this game has a 16 by 9 mode. You can play this in widescreen if you want. It is, I would say do not. It is a fake widescreen mode. It's 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 quote unquote widescreen mode. All that does is take your um, your four by three um, uh, viewing angle and just kind of crops the top and bottom off. It's not a real sixteen by nine mode. It doesn't bring the sides out. It just crops the top and bottom. So. To get the maximum amount of like view angle in this game, you have to leave it on 4x3. Because uh, they did not implement widescreen correctly for this game. So. And uh, interestingly enough, this game defaults to controller setting B. This type B is the default controller setting. And if you look at those controls, they are insane. Um, L1 and R1 to strafe, L2 and R2 to look up and down. Uh, <laughs> what, what? No, no, bad, no. Um, this is, this was the, the standard control method for a lot of from software's earlier games going all the way back to the PlayStation 1. If you look at games like um King's Field on the PlayStation 1, the other Echo Knight games on the PlayStation 1 and the um the Armored Core games, they all have this the these controls, the you know L2 and R2 to look up and down which is just I mean you could forgive these controls on a PlayStation 1 game if you had a standard PlayStation 1 controller, not the DualShock, right? Because you've got to have a way to have 3D, you know, look around on a controller without analog sticks. However, since the, uh, the invention of the DualShock 1, these controls make no sense and are garbage. So you're going to want to come down here and you're going to want to select control type C, which actually gives you uh, the closest equivalent to a, a modern control scheme. Control type A is, I, I would call this golden eye mode. So you do use the control sticks to move and look, but your but but looking and moving is actually divided between the control sticks instead of instead of the left analog stick being exclusively move and the right analog stick being exclusively look control type a is both jobs are divided between both sticks and it just feels it, it feels like golden eye for the n64 you know what i mean it's got that that kind of feel to it where it's like oh it's 
this this feels bad if you play a lot of modern games. So control type C. All right, we're going to back out. I'm going to start a new game. So 2005. This is a well, 2005 in Europe. I cannot. I, 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 I presume typically. Japanese releases had a year on Western releases, so it's probably a 2004 game for Japan, probably. Should maybe have looked that up, but yeah, 2005 for Europe at least. I thought I heard someone calling my name. My fiance, Claudia, and I were on a space trip. Suddenly, there was an intense shock and roaring sound. A massive shock as the shuttle crashed onto the moon. That's all I remember. I'm slowly starting to come to. But I can't sense that Claudia's here anywhere. Very neat handwriting. I find it funny that this guy was just sitting on a on a plane in a full spacesuit. So I'll let you know this off the bat. Um, it's going to be some interlacing. Uh, this is seems to be one of those games that defeats all attempts at uh, deinterlacing. So I've tried every option possible on the emulator. And uh, nothing fixes the interlacing, so we're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I've tried software, I've tried different... I've tried OpenGL, direct, you know... Um, um, not not um, um, Direct3D, I've tried different filters, I've tried different rendering resolutions, I've tried... I've tried every single possible deinterlacing mode the emulator has to offer, and nothing seems to work. If we go here, we we'll go to settings. Uh, it's like, so this has got a yeah, look, like automatic, but nothing really seems to work. I've tried. I've been fiddling with this for a while, trying to solve this deinterlacing issue and uh, I think it's working <laughs> so we're just gonna have to deal with it that's not good so yeah we've woken up on this crap in this uh, crashed shuttle and so this game the way this game handles um, in, in environmental um, interaction is interesting uh, most things you do not have to press a button to examine. Sometimes you, all you have to do is walk up to something, center it in your view, and then just stop moving, and then the game will automatically um, examine it for you. So, for example, this broken robot. I didn't press a button, I just stopped moving. The wires protrude from its neck. Hmm. 
And then any, and then anything more than just a, an examination, you do have to press uh, the X button. And so examining your environment in greater detail is very important to getting like a, um, a better completion rate. A, a, a better completion percentage and your completion percentage at the end of the game determines what your ending is so so it really it, it, you are encouraged to really really take in your environments in as much detail as possible Okay, that's already unlocked. So, uh, okay, so it's square button to open your inventory. You've only got your promise ring. So, I think that I think that's meant to be an engagement ring because the whole point is the whole point of this game. You are looking for your missing fiance, who was on this shuttle with you. And the f I, I think this is meant to be an engagement ring, but for some reason the translation has it as promise ring, which doesn't, it's a bit weird. We've got a photo of her and a med kit, so. Okay, your, your headlight in this game has two different brightness settings. You've got low and high or off. Uh, your headlight battery is not infinite. So you should try to use the headlight battery as sparingly as possible. Or at the very least, keep it on low. And we found a metal flask. The contents are not quite finished. So most areas in the game do have enough ambient light that you can um, explore i mean you know ex effectively explore uh, very few areas in the game will actually require your headlight so you should learn not to uh, use it too much if you can okay so we are about to come into contact with our first ghost So as you get closer to a ghost, your heart rate goes up. Dies. Everybody dies. But because this is not a hostile ghost, well, hostile in quotes, we'll get more into that in a minute. Uh, heart rate doesn't go up too hard. Here he is. This game's voice acting is also pretty damn quiet, so I might have to crank up the, um... Ooh. Has it gone the gain a little bit like I did? Where is it? Crank up the gain just a little bit when talking to... NPCs, just so you can actually hear what they're saying. Yeah, everybody will die. You'll, You'll die, die too. too. Hey, hey, bring me my flask. I'm not good without it. Bring, bring it to me. me. Give it, it to me, me now. now. Yeah. A lot of ghosts, you can't see until you get right up on them so you kind of have to pay attention to your heart rate uh, who are you where am i what am i doing here all right 
So let's give this guy his, his flask. So he's obviously one of the other passengers from the shuttle. This is it. If I drink this, everybody will disappear. And so a lot of the game is you are um, taking, well, you're not fighting the ghosts, you are solving the ghosts' problems. So this, 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 what happened is this uh, shuttle has crashed into a, uh, a, a moon base on the surface of the moon. And uh, as a result, um, everyone is dead. <laughs> Everyone on the shuttle di died in the crash, except, well, most of the people on the shuttle died in the crash, and uh, almost, I want to say, let's say, let's say almost everyone in the moon base died in the crash. And so uh, the moon base is now full of ghosts, full of very, very confused and upset ghosts who uh, don't realise their situation and are wandering about you are you sure you want to go there they're wandering about and basically they they have unfinished business and so you have to while you're exploring this 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 base looking for your fiance you have to solve a lot of the unfinished business of the ghosts and that's how how you kind of get around them and watch out for the And so, while the ghosts do hurt you a lot, oof, right? While the ghosts do hurt you a lot of the time, they're not trying to hurt you. They're just in a very, very, like, upset and stressed out state. And so, it's just a lot of really, like, really, like, annoyed and pissed off spirits that don't realize that they're dead. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. And they're kind of just lashing out. So. This game's got some pretty good lighting. Like this is aesthetically, this is a uh, kind of a nice looking PS2 game. Or is bent in its frame. Any text when I try to open it? No. Okay. Emergency lights are all on. She's got this very lo low green glow everywhere. Okay, so now we need to we need to get out of this shuttle. Who passage? battery storage compartment. Shuttle's backup generator. Okay. Toppled onto its side and isn't functioning, so... Nothing really in here, just some stuff to look at in order to boost your uh, completion percentage. don't have to look at everything in order to finish the game, but you want the better endings. 
kind of like you you are encouraged to do this. Through boarding hatch, it appears to be locked. Get off this shuttle. So, occasionally you will find these little red uh, comlink panels on the walls. These are your save points. down into a foggy area. Across this bridge, we're going to run into our next ghost. This one's a little bit different. This guy's not, not good for us. That is a stressed out ghost. Again, he doesn't want to hurt us. He's just in an extremely stressed out uh, state. And uh, as a result, if we get close to him, he will, uh, he will inadvertently hurt us, so. Display. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Got one of these people movers. Sorry, what? This guy's got a little bit more 
this, this guy's not lost his his uh, composure. He's he's a bit more of a friendly ghost. Portable battery. We want that. Just, here we go. And we'll pick up this radio. So he's not going to let us pass unless we give him a good reason. So we're going to show him the picture of our fiance. Cool, thank you very much. Um, so I've got a little guide open here, because this game does get pretty... Um, uh, difficult to like to know what you're supposed to do next sometimes, because it's, it's, it's a From Software game. This is a developer that is famed for its uh, its games that are maybe not completely easy to understand, shall we say? <laughs> They're full of NPCs that don't like fully explain themselves. So okay. Fair belts, there's something about a woman. Make the radio. Okay. I'll tell you what. Um I'll be right back. Just a moment. Okay, and I'm back. Oops. Where am I? Discombobulated. So yeah, the ghost is still here, but he's leaning up against the wall now. guy was like me and exploring the station looking for survivors uh, when he was uh, <clears throat> he ran afoul of a, uh, a stressed out ghost and unfortunately the ghost that got him was uh, the little girl which we will probably see soon Another PS2 game that has a whoa. Oh, it's a a light. Okay, this is another PS2 game that has got um, 
just a really good like aesthetic like a good clean look to it you know it's not going for realism it's going for like an you know an exaggerated style that was fairly 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 common for the time um I've been struggling to come up with a a name for this kind of visual style that you saw in a lot of like PS2 games. It's like, how would you describe it? It's like a, a style, like a visual style, where it's you're it's you're not going necessarily for realism, but people and objects have mostly realistic proportions. Maybe they're body proportions are a little bit exaggerated um kind of like um like a final fantasy 10 or a uh, or, or 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 a tekken you know like that kind of like uh visual presentation like, like well the newer tekken games are going for more realistic body proportions but if you go back and look at like the first first four or five Tekken games they kind of got everything's got kind of like a slightly exaggerated look to it it's, it's something that people don't really do anymore it's not really a style that developers chase after anymore I guess you could call it like like I guess like smooth smooth CG or something like a you know like that kind of look. What's this say? Monitor room. <laughs> Let's look in the monitor room. And I think games on the PS2 that have that kind of visual aesthetic have aged like a lot better than games that were purely trying to go for um you know like Purely trying to go for realism. Right, we've got the monitor room, which is basically just the CCTV, a CCTV room. There are several of these throughout the station. Alright. And these usually only uh, work in the uh, area that you are currently in, so the operations area. So this water filtration plant, this is where we... Um, Where, where we encountered our first hostile ghost. So we can bring up the CCTV. Wait for me. There he is. You can hear him talking. He said, wait for me. Yeah, wait for me. So you see a lot of these ghosts, they're not they're not trying to hurt you. They're just super stressed out and they don't realize that they are killing people. And you can help him. If you find the if you find the relevant information an item. Usually there's an item. Usually it's an it usually it could be an environmental puzzle. But there's usually something you have to find that gives you the power to help the ghost move on. You know what I mean? Uh, until then, he will just kind of... Just carry on stalking the halls. A okay, random piece of machinery. So obviously it looks like um, we back out. To the map it looks like the bridge in the middle of that big circular room uh, rotates so we can reach that that room on the right hand side of it where that uh, control panel was but in order to rotate the bridge we're gonna have to get past the ghost Which means we need to find the relevant item and or information that will allow us to help him This is 
that room with the uh, the ghost spaceman that we spoke to. There he is. Rest area. This is the area we just went through. It's, yeah, you, you come across these monitor rooms throughout the base. So you usually find these little glowing things. And if you're looking on a camera and you see these weird glowing green sections, you can zoom in on them. Move the camera in these uh, little flashbacks. For some reason, that guy was being assaulted by a bench. There's the bench. And over to us, oh, a couch. Sorry, a couch. Sometimes when you you look in monitor views, you will find little 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 cutscenes like that that give you like a flashback to some previous uh, inhabitant of the base's fate. Okay, let's get out of here. This is the work area hallway. This is another people mover hallway. Have a look around, see if there's any ghosts. Okay, there's something here making a noise, like a weird ticking sound. Save our game. gonna get up and move around? No? Good. This door's locked. It has a level two card reader. So Please we're gonna insert car key. We're gonna have to find that security card before we can get to that part of the base. Say? 
Oh, fire extinguisher. Okay. Just that the text is a little bit... <laughs> the text on that sign is a little bit, uh... Yeah. Alright, so this is the central hub. This is the middle of the base. From here you can get to the four major areas. Oops, I keep accidentally hitting yeah, Lunar Facility maps. You've got the work area, where we just came from, the spaceport, to your right, residential area, and the uh, energy area, which I guess is like the um, the power plant, you know, where the uh, part of the base that's in charge of uh, keeping the rest of the base running. Emergency barricade is in place. The power is off. Lower area is closed now. Please don't use escalator until electric power is up. Is Electric power is sup? Looks like a like a typo there. When they were typing out the text that was going to be used on this texture, they accidentally put a uh, little typo. I like I like finding stuff like that. Oops, again, I keep doing it. So you can also use R2 to change your um, flashlight levels. But only in control control um, mode C energy area pretty sure this is the only place you can go for now locked try the other side Oh my god. This controller that I'm using is, uh... It's got a fault on it, where sometimes... The controller thinks that you're holding right on the, on the, on the right analog stick, and you're not. It's not a dead zone problem. It's got nothing to do with the dead zone. You can... Um, it's just there's some kind of fault where... If you're using both sticks at the same time and you let go of the right stick while you're still using the left stick, there's something wrong with the internal logic of the controller that, like, thinks you're still pushing a direction on the right stick, and it's really annoying. And it's been like that ever since I bought it. It is a... It's, it's, it is technically a third-party Xbox One controller, but it is a Microsoft licensed Xbox One, third-party Xbox One controller. It's got the, you know, the Microsoft seal of approval on it. <laughs> Despite not being an official Microsoft controller, so... You'd expect the build quality on those things to be a little bit better. Okay. It's been a while. Oh, hi. What's the matter with you? You look strange. Do you're I look a, funny? You're not a ghost. I've been alone since you left. Why don't you come to my room later? It's next to the center hall. We have a lot to catch up on. Okay. So, that dude wasn't a ghost. That dude is alive. And also, uh, he recognized you, despite the fact that you are wearing a massive spacesuit and you, can, you can't easily see uh, his face. So, let's go and visit this guy. Let's go and check out his room. His room is this locked door we saw earlier. So he just kind of lives in this, I guess you would call this a holodeck. This is kind of like a Star Trek holodeck. 
except you can very faintly actually see the real like the real corners of the room the, the hologram isn't perfect painting supplies are strewn all across the top of the table ah you're here please make yourself at home A shuttle crashed some time ago. A lot of people were aboard, but now everybody's dead. And that black shadow, I can manage myself being alone. I'm an android. He's a robot. But I'm glad that you're back. Since you left, I've been painting pictures here. Pretty pictures, all alone. I don't know why I paint pictures. Before I knew it, I was painting pictures. This robot has discovered art. You have something that you're looking for, right? Maybe I can help you out. Come back here from time to time. I'll be here, waiting. Okay, art supplies. So where where are, are these pictures that you're painting? Because it's, um... Oh. So yeah, this is the dude. This is a so this in this room this is where you, you can have like a visual record of all the ghosts in the game that you have helped to move on. And uh every time you help a ghost move on this guy will paint a picture of them. And this is Dudley Tungsten. This is the dude we gave the uh the flask to on the on the shuttle. Hang on. Walk up. Here we go. Dudley Tungsten. And he was the, so far, the first ghost we have helped. So, we need to turn the lights on in here, so we need to go to the energy area. The voice acting in this game is, um, it's not amazing, but it is... It's 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 not as bad as a uh, Project Zero's. Project Zero had some heinous uh, localization problems. Uh, this game, while not of a modern standard, shall we say, the localization in this game is uh, better than a little bit better than Project Zero's. Okay. What's this? Double check. Okay. Move on. Just set off an alarm somehow. Oh, what's this? A digital calendar. The display isn't working properly, but the calendar seems accurate, so... The calendar is accurate. This game is set in 2044, so uh, only another 20 years or so before we've got a moon base. <laughs> You know, not impossible, but uh, if we do have a moon base within the next 20 years, I, somehow I don't think it's going to be this big or this nice. It'd probably be a kind of a very, very small, poultry, like two-man shack or something. It's probably the most realistic hope. For that. So it's, was it 2044? 
Uh, August the 13th, I believe. Yeah, that's a one. So yeah, 20, 2044, August 13th. What's in here? Oh, good. Another one of these hallways. No, nothing to say. transformer it appears to be the facility's main power distribution system okay there's a guy in here so I should mention that when your heart rate goes up um, your controller rumbles uh, in, in time with your heartbeat Report logbook. It must have been belonged to. A, must have belonged to a worker here. Chair's moving by itself. Oh come on! Solar panels. So there is a ghost in here, but I can't locate them. Chair moving by itself. All right, solar panel activation. Let's get the power up, shall we? System reset. Please enter the date. Please enter the date. So what was the date on that display we saw? 2044. It's um, month then day. That'll be August the 13th. You stop it. Now, the environment's probably going to be a little bit brighter than it was before. But not that much brighter. <laughs> it's a tiny amount brighter. See what the CCTV can see. Okay. 
observation hallway. My energy area height. Energy area hallway. So let's just go one by one. Let's search. This is where we came in. Look around. Oh shit! I accidentally backed out. <laughs> I thought I thought for a moment there that uh, holding down the run button might uh, make the camera move a little bit faster, but it doesn't. Observatory. Hmm. Try this hallway here. There's three cameras here, I should check those. Ah, the people mover is moving now, because the power's on. That's good. Okay. Power transfer room. This is the room where we uh, encountered ghostly presence that we couldn't see. Here's a question. Why do so many um, digital uh, camera systems in movies and games have analog um, distortion? You see that? You see how the image is getting distorted there? You see the lines going down? You see the little white bands that appear? Like, the, the, all of that is analog video distortion. That shit should not happen on a purely digital camera signal. So, it's... We know what digital camera, like, digital video distortion looks like. It looks like macro blocking, you know? Big, big old fucked up square, square portions of the image. You know, just not updating correctly. It shouldn't be like VHS tracking. <laughs> but I guess at the time when this game came out, like that was the most like recognizable form of video distortion still. So whatever. Oh wait, there was another camera there. Any weird green marks we can look at? What is that? A disc is lying on the ground. There's a disc there. Got to go get that disc. Nothing in there at all. Battery room hallway. And the battery room, finally. Let's see what's going on in the battery room. You hear that? Victor. There's a ghost in here walking around. Victor. Calling someone called Victor. I think he's saying Victor. Where are you? Yeah, he's looking for someone. 
Again, we've got another green marking on the floor, so we can zoom into that and get a little cutscene. Please, Victor, there should still be some good batteries somewhere. What? I, I don't want to be left alone here. Victor, my dad gave this to me before my first flight. I'm giving this to you. I promise it'll protect you. You know you're not as weak as you think you are. But Captain... Where are you? So this dude, this ghost here, was that second man in that um, cutscene. Where are you? Looking for Victor. So... Okay. Save the game. finding my place on that little guy because now I'm getting to a getting close to where I stopped playing last time I booted this up so Can't get in there without a level two security card, so let's go grab that uh, disc. Where was it? It was here. There's a label on the disc that says Trip with Dad. Okay. That's probably important. So we can't do anything else here. Let's head back to the central area. also work. Now, good. Observatory. Hmm. There's a strange lock on this door. surface. Interesting. Alright, let's go back to that central hall. This is a game series I would like um, to see From Software revisit at some point, but then I guess, you know, everyone has said 
exactly the same thing about every other game that From Software has made that they haven't revisited in a long time, you know? Um, I mean, they have recently uh, revisited um, one of their other older franchises, Armored Core. Oh, look, it's nice and bright in here now. Because Armored Core was their second oldest franchise after um, Kingsfield. I believe Echo Knight is their third oldest? I don't know. Let's go downstairs. We can go downstairs now. to the spaceport, but we need a level 3 card to get in there. Oops. Now, can we do anything with these? Hmm. Notes. So, yeah, we've got a list of characters that we've seen. We've been playing for just over an hour and we're already 21% 20, complete. This is not a long game. Uh, I feel like this is a game you, you could complete in about six hours. So, Like, even, even without a guide, you know, there's just not... It, the, uh, the complex you are exploring is not so big and complicated that you can get lost, you know? And the puzzles aren't that hard, I reckon. Six to eight hours is a very reasonable completion time, like without a guide, I think, for this game. Because I'm occasionally glancing over at a guide to to help help steer me in the correct direction. I'm not following it word for word. I'm just using it as like a, where should I go now? Oh, I should go back to that place, that sort of thing. A rough, a, a, a guideline, shall we say. So this is our, um, this is our... Fiance, taking a trip into space, the shuttle she and her fiance were travelling aboard, crash landed on the moon. She disappeared at some point during that time that her fiance was unconscious. Where could she have gone? SWW 105, female, lifelike android designed to carry out duties of a stewardess on board the space shuttle. The unit was damaged during the crash and continuously repeats fragments of its programmed announcements. Clearly a, uh, a, a, an earlier model of Android than the one that we encountered earlier. Dudley Tungsten, the ghost who was sitting on the floor in the parlour. He seemed to regain some of his composure after taking a deep, a deep draught from his, from the flask. Is that draw? It might be pronounced draw, a deep draw from his fl from the flask. Not drought. Uh, his last words before vanishing were a warning about the fog. Mm. Nikolai Ivanov. Ghost located in the filtration plant hallway. His thoughts are fixated on the ghost of the young girl he claims was responsible for his death. He seems genuinely concerned for her well-being. Mm. Mm. So... We can look at our map. The map will only show locations that you've already been to, so any room that you have not been to it before in the past will not appear on the map. So. Okay. Items. Maybe this will let us get a closer look at our items. It's Claudia. It's a really s small, tiny, low resolu resolution photograph of Claudia. Can we zoom in? We can zoom in a tiny bit. Not much, though. A photograph of Claudia. Where is she now? Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to try and use that. Whoops. Okay. The initials R-O are engraved on the inside. Oh yeah, look. You can just about see it on the texture. R-O. 
I'm sure that's uh, important to the plot. Med kit. A single sedative filled syringe is inside the kit. Wireless communications device. It doesn't appear to be working. So yeah, your med kit is just um, filled with sedatives because when you come into contact with uh, aggressive ghosts, they don't physically harm you. They just cause you to get so scared that your heart stops working. <laughs> Like your heart, your heart rate goes up so, so, so quickly and so high that it causes you to have a heart attack. And so you can temporarily um, force your, your heart to, um, to calm down using a sedative. Monthly report. Monthly report logbook. It must have belonged to a worker here. Read. Let's read this logbook. Let's see. Uh, 31st of March, 2040. Power outages and blackouts are becoming a daily occurrence. The equipment is too old to be reliable any longer. A thorough inspection of all the equipment is scheduled for next month. Ah, oh, it's probably a SpaceX facility then. <clears throat> inspection of all power-related equipment re revealed faulty wiring as the main cause of the recent power outages. We'll ask the director to contact headquarters regarding the problem, but they'll probably just tell us to focus on the mining efforts. Yeah, definitely a Elon Musk operation. In the meantime, we're looking into system modifications that will hopefully prevent future, out future out outages. Okay, 31st of May. Strange fog has been appearing in different areas of the facility. The problem seems to be tied to the ventilation system, and the person in charge of the work area, Mr. Dato, has expressed his concern. Other than this, oxygen shortage problems that plague the facility since its inception appear to have been solved, and mining operations are going well. The fog continues to fill the facility, but doesn't seem to have any impact on oxygen levels. A report regarding the situation has been sent to headquarters by the director, but their response was just to push ahead with mining operations. I have a bad feeling about what will happen if things remain as they are. Huh. There's a label on the disc. It says, Trip with Dad. So who wants to bet this has got something to do with uh, the little girl that other ghost mentioned? Hang on. Whoops. Just want to quickly check something. Crap. No bridge going that way. So apparently there should be a sedative syringe on this table in this room. Here we go. You see that thing on the desk? You can take it with you. After I've already picked it up. Hope you'll find it useful. I mean, you're an android. You have no use for it. Yeah, I would love to see what a a new Echo Night game would look like with like a like. Not just modern visuals, but like a, a, a modern from software budget, because uh, when From Software made this game, they were still a uh, quite a small developer. No. So their recent extreme rise in fortunes, I would love to see them revisit this this franchise and just see what what they can do with like this concept this this idea of uh, this idea of a horror game this is not this is not a a high this is not a oh here we go hello there sir you do not 
carol. But you remember my mama? Do you not? It has just been two of us since my mama died. Carol, you have had me too. I was looking forward to this reunion. You forgot everything. Carol, how could you forget your old papa? Ah, okay. So this is probably the father of the little girl ghost that was mentioned before. Where are you, Carol? Yeah, same dude. So yeah, I, I worry because um. Horror games have gone in a direction in recent years of jump scare fuel, you know what I mean? It's just like very, very aggressive threats, very scary environments. Like even the um, the franchise that was for a very long time like considered to be holding out against that trend, Silent Hill has gone in that direction, you know? And I feel like this more kind of sedate horror game would people would just find boring today. And so I worry that if From Software ever did revisit this series, um they would, uh, they would buckle to modern trends, shall we say. Oops, spaceport, wrong way. And they would make it, they would, they would add a combat system, they would have, uh, environments where the walls are covered in blood, and, you know what I mean? It's like, okay. I'm kind of into this, like, this is kind of a slow pace, this is, this game is, like, all vibes. This is an extremely vibes game. Okay, so I know what's in this hallway, so, <laughs> so I'm going to pause. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to have to very quickly run into the first room on the right here to avoid uh, a ghost. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh great, the light switch isn't working. Good stuff. Another moving chair. Alright. Okay, monitor system. Show me what's going on in this area. So you can look in, in, in the individual rooms. Let's check out the main hallway. Oh, hey, look who it is. Hey, okay, we've got a, um, got a green mark. Let's zoom in and of place is it here? Fog. This fog created that ghost. Somehow, I must find a way to clear this fog. What? Whoa! Okay, so that was that 
dude in the spacesuit we encountered earlier probably succumbing to the little girl. seen enough. Okay. So let's try looking at some of these rooms. Yeah, it is. Hmm, huh. interesting. The bed isn't made. You know, I think we will forgive them for that. that. Just a cup. Just a cup. 103. Table is rather messy. Soil has spilled out. Small electronic device. The screen is illuminated. What's this? Stop all that nonsense talk about ghosts. Ever since we found that stone, strange things have been happening. Don't worry about it. Our director's pleased and that's what matters. There won't be any more oxygen shortages. It'll actually be nice to work here. But Mr. Gold... Listen, Alan. We just work here. We do what we're told without question. Hey, right, let's go. So it seems uh, the mining that was going on at this facility uncovered something. Some kind of stone. It appears that stone may have caused, had, may have had something to do with the current situation. All right. What's going on in room 105? There's music playing in here. It's faint, but you can hear piano. Oh. Child's drawing. Books and a CD. CD? In 2044? Whoever lived here must have been a collector of, like... Old media. What a weirdo. 106. Ooh. There's something written on the wall. Oh, pictures and books on the nightstand.
around here. Doesn't appear to be anything here. Well, there is that strange fog elevator. Dispensary room. Innovation area. Not a lot going here. Ooh, there's a laboratory. A laboratory, whatever. Dilapidated piece of machinery. Ooh. Looks like we've got another mark we can look at. Who's there? It's funny how the video distortion affects the cutscenes, the uh, subtitles. I told you that if those two things get mixed together, they'll generate high heat. Be careful. Sorry, I I'll set them apart. You guys just don't listen to me. Hmm. That seems like a clue. So we're looking for two separate containers of chemicals that when they are mixed can uh, generate a lot of heat. So room 102 is directly next to us. Let's have a quick look at the hallway, see where the ghost is. Ghost is heading in the other direction. That's good. Okay. Yes, I see you. Ha ha ha. What's this? Interesting. All right. Let's save.
Go to room 102. <clears throat> Just a second. Okay, right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to uh, very quickly do something. Okay, where were we? We're in a different room now. Hmm? What was that? Something smashed. Oh. Remnants of various food and drink items are strewn about the table. Yeah, this was that room with the dirty table. Dishes are stacked in the sink. Interesting. And a bathroom. Ooh. What? The mirror has been shattered. This mirror? Shards of the broken mirror. Sign display. What? Pretty sure that's a washing machine, but okay. Announcement display. What? Now, what? Oh, hmm. Unless there's just certain descriptions in this game that aren't properly lined up with the things they're meant to be attached to. Ooh, toilet. That opens. <laughs> that opens when you approach it. It's coated with dust. this where I saw that card? Where's that? Oh, it's just the cup. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Mama. Employee card. There is a magnetic strip across the back of the card. I just heard that little girl. Okay, so according to the guide... We need to take that card that we just picked up and use it um, on a control panel that is in the hallway to clear the clear away the uh, the fog. Please insert employee card. Mysterious ghost making fog is now being cleared away. And my heart rate is going down. Um six three. One oh four. Can we go to one oh four? Door isn't working. Okay. 105. Oh, hi. Hey there, little girl. Say so. Okay. Same thing. Okay.
Okay, interesting. What do you want us to do? How are we going to solve your problem? Books. Framed pictures look like they were taken on the, on, on the earth. Can we... Can we play the, the, the thing for her? What if we play it in, in this room? <laughs> you can use a camera, no? I know how to use it better than you, Papa. <laughs> oh, you do, huh? Well, then, make me look good. Okay. Carol, are you happy being with me? Why? I am happy with you. Even without Mama here? Of course, Papa. I never feel lonely when you are with me. Besides, Mama became a star, right? I feel like Mama is watching me. <laughs> yes, she is. I'm glad we are on this trip, Carol. Oh, this is such a nothing home movie. Papa? Oh. Had an effect. She's gone. Make sure there's nothing in the cupboards. Double make sure. What's in here? Anything in here? No, nothing on the beds. What's this? Is this anything useful? No. No. Hmm. Not a bathroom. Not a toilet, rather. Announcement display and sign display. <laughs> so this this suggests to me that somewhere, somewhere in the game there is an actual there are actual displays that if you walk up to them and and examine them they're going to be called sink and washing machine. <laughs> somewhere along the lines the uh, the text strings got mixed up. anything okay get out of here it's interesting that the cutscenes aren't interlaced left a thing behind. It's weird how the game doesn't seem to suffer from interlacing during those cutscenes, even though they do appear to be in-engine, they're not FMVs. But it may just be because the camera in the cutscenes doesn't move particularly fast, which means any in interlacing might not just 
not show up. Get two, what is that? Five. What are you? A battery. Four. Door isn't working. Anything useful in here? Another moving chair? Yeah, I've seen your, your trick a few times now. Anything interesting in here? No. Anything in here? No. Nothing. No. Ooh, what is that? Like a tiny... Do you see that? It's like a teeny, tiny little picture frame. Teeny, teeny, weeny, tiny little picture frame on the edge of the mattress. That's... Interesting. The toilet. Another display. Yep. Another display. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, there clearly must be some kind of universal, um, like, generic item description that just got accidentally swapped with a different one in the code somewhere. That's caused that bug. Whoops. No six. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the room with the uh, writing on the wall. Empty medication containers are scattered about. There's a wheelchair here. Hmm. Toilet. These all seem to be the same layout. Yeah. Let's see what this text says. The fog. It does terrible things. Turns them evil. Please, let help arrive. Okay. in here. Is there anything useful? Another battery, we don't need it right now. We don't need our light. What's in here? Special key to get in there. Oh, this is that room where we saw that guy get uh, told off for storing chemicals too close to each other. Do not mix. Now we have to find out where the other one is. Interesting. Oh, same. With the light off, it looks like this room goes further on and there's some kind of like dark doorway over there. But then you turn the light on, you realize, no, that's just the wall. <laughs> Okay. 
elevator. Don't really want to use the elevator just yet. Dispensary. Level four. Ooh. So what was what did that little girl drop? Let's go pick up that thing in that hallway. Back in the back over here. I'm going to very quickly go back to the um, main area. So apparently there should be a dude around here now. Okay, the father's gone, but he would be because he, he left with the girl. Apparently there should be a dude here somewhere. Jesus Christ! Fucking God damn it! <laughs> what is it with you and not wanting to show up until you're right in my face? Okay, he's just going to repeat the same thing. Yeah. Okay. What if I show you this? card key. Another ghost set free. Okay, uh, let's go check in on our, on our android friend. See what he's up to. See if he's painted any new pictures for us. Hey. You have something that you're looking for, right? Maybe I can help you out. Come back here from time to time. I'll be here. Waiting. Alright, so nothing new. Oh, hey. Some new paintings. Marcel Aron and Carol Aron. 
Nikolai Ivanov. Okay. back down the residential area I see that yeah running slowly raises your your, your heart rate whoops It slowly goes up as you run for long periods of time. So apparently there should be something in room 105. Read that there should be something... something in one of these. Let me double check. It says there should be a, uh, a letterhead paper in room 105. Yeah, a letterhead paper is in a closet in room 105. And this is room 105. So, nope. this is just a mistake in the guide. Oh, what's this? Wow, that was hard to spot. Oh my God, that was not obvious at all. That was, <laughs> wow, okay. So we found it. I'm going to go and save the game. There was a save point in room 101. There it is. Interesting. Okay. Don't need the light on. Turn the light off. Stop wasting power. Very quickly. Whoops. Wrong button. See what that letterhead says. High quality paper. A company logo is embossed on the front. Oh, it literally says nothing, it's just a blank piece of paper. Elevator card key. Elevator security, and we cannot read anything on the back of that card. Texture is not detailed enough. Yellow chemical. Magnetic strip across the back of the card. Okay. I 
Can I get out, please? Nope, I think I'm dead. <laughs> Something just attacked me out of nowhere and I couldn't... <laughs> couldn't do anything. I guess you can't go back the way you, uh, you came. dumps you just dumps you back at the title screen does it okay that's cr that's mean that's mean i mean again that is like standard japanese game design from this period a lot of japanese game design is if you die you just get dumped unceremoniously back at the title screen like they don't even let you like give you an option to reload a save or something We've got to run, it feels like. As soon as we get into that area, we've got to run. That ghost wasn't there before. Why Why is there suddenly a ghost there now? Okay. Low power. Okay. Run. chemical room. Okay, calm down a bit. We need to get to the elevator. Okay. Is it still there? No? Okay, get in the elevator. Both B1 and B2 are locked. Please insert key. Access granted. Releasing lock. B1. Oh, there we go. It works now. Right, going up. Okay, <laughs> what am I dealing with? Okay. For some reason our heart rate went up just then and I don't know why. What's this? Research area. Ooh, I'm slow. Why am I slow? Okay, that's fucked. <laughs> Why are there handprints on my helmet? <laughs> Vegetable plants. Or one security card. <laughs> I 
That's interesting. Old movie poster. A pure star. The hometown of... The hometown of self. Will you stop doing that? Damn kids. The sink is filthy. It's broken. Wow, this... this place is in bad shape. Glass cleaner. Cleaning supplies. mirror has been removed. Easier to get rid of the mirror than it is to try and handle um, reflections, I guess. Are my hands? It's broken. Oh, my turning speed is really slow. It's like I'm walking through sludge. This is getting old. Ooh. Help. <laughs> Battery. I wish there was some kind of on-screen indicator as to how much battery you have left. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Hang on a sec. Search area hallway, you'll find that you're moving slower, and periodically a pair of handprints will appear on your helmet. As a child laughs, ignore this for now. Enter the the vegetable plant passage. What? The Vegetable plant passage. What is the vegetable plant passage? What is this? Oh, I can I can handle moving slower, but turning slower. That now that's uh, there's another battery down there, but I already picked one up. Oh well. It's a shame you can't hold on to spares. Vegetable plant passage. What? One. One. Oh, this door's open. That was a level one security card door, but it was unlocked already, so. Ooh, monitor room. Cool. Save point, which is nice. 
And uh, okay, let's check out the security cameras, see what they can see. Okay, so that's the elevator shaft, that's where we came in. That's that hallway and the toilets where the little kid fucks with you by putting but dirtying up your helmet. Anything of interest in the elevator? No. Nothing there. Oh, there's a map on the wall. I didn't see that. Huh. Oh, well. I didn't notice that at the time. Control passage. This is that little hallway that's blocked by those pot plants. There's something written. It says warning, I suppose. Various equipment and supplies. There's a crying ghost, okay. What's that green mark? I'll take a look around. You stay here, okay? Sweetie. Don't worry. Trust me. We will be saved. Stay here no matter what. We will be saved. You've always been like this. Kind, confident, so assertive. Ten years have already passed. Maybe I'm the one who's changed. Stay with me a little longer. You've got some ugly feet. <laughs> oh. PS2, not very good at rendering feet. Not that that's something I'm interested in seeing, not really, not not into feet, but I'm just, I just notice it's like here's some low poly feet. Research area hallway. Is that hallway where we? Encountered the handprints and the, the, the giggling. Okay. The vegetable plant passage. What? That's where we are. You. Are you telling me to die? How? How could you leave me at a place like this? I will not die. I will not die. Claudia, I promise. I will once again. Kenneth, once more. Give me power. Okay. Wow, he punched. He punched that wall panel hard <laughs> to make it come loose. Either that dude has like super strength or, the, or this place is not built very well. Okay. Oh, we got a little ghost. We've got a ghost in here. She's 
not making any noise. We can't. I like how the the, uh, the camera in this room is like covered in like shitty moss or something, some kind of f fungal growth. She's wandering around. Stuffed animal. Interesting. Okay. Cultivation control room. Apparently there's two ghosts in here. Oh, I see. I see, that's not a reflection, that's literally two different ghosts. Okay. Let's save the game. Time to run. <laughs> Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Calm down. Please insert employee ID card. Will it take the same one? Emergency food. Emergency food. Oh, have to back away. Get close again. An emergency food tin rests on top. Okay. The battery. There's two, another battery here. There's two batteries in this room. show you anywhere where your bloody um, light battery is or do you just have to assume Ugh. okay what's this science monitoring device key storage box ooh the greenhouse key. The word greenhouse is written on the tag attached to the key. Please remember to return all keys after using them. That's not what it says. That's, it claims that this sign says, please remember to return all keys after uni using them, but if you actually look at the texture it says, if it finishes using, please return to the original place. So, it kind of has the same meaning. It's, it's kind of the same meaning. That ventilation should have cleared the fog. Yeah.
What is this? Another battery. We don't need it. Greenhouse control device. The front panel has been removed. I need to look out for them. Who is them, little girl? Where are you? work. Switching to manual control. Please set tray arrangement. No idea. No idea. Near the entrance to the room, you will meet the ghosts Katarina and Katrina. So, I do need to use these trays, apparently. Okay. There's a thing I need to get. Uh, are they not labelled? No. Oh, that one worked. in. Okay. Oh, okay. <coughs> so the white button represents an empty slot. Oh, hello there. So you need to... <coughs> uh, get this tray, I think with the, the stuffed toy, down here. So if the stuffed toy is there, and the white button represents the empty space, and whatever button you select... Okay, okay little girl, please stop talking. 
whatever green button you press adjacent to that white space moves into that empty space and the empty space goes where that tray was. Okay, I understand. Should be it. Aha! Stuff line. neck reads out to our big brother okay well I need to move that tray back in okay so where are they That's just a control room again, we don't need to go there. Ghosts, these ghosts should be in here, but I can't find them. Oh, hi! I didn't see you, because you need to get right up on these damn kids to even see them. off to heaven now. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here we are. We're back in this place with the really shitty move uh, movement speed. 
goodness. So I've already got the glass cleaner from the toilets. Okay. Figure this kid out. So there should be a dirty mirror here somewhere. Is that it? Mirror of the sink is broken. Shit again. Move away. Part of it still adheres to the wall, but it is very dirty. Okay, glass cleaner. Oh, hi there, little shit. Oh, oh look, my movement speed is back. Where'd you go, you little prick? Fisheries Experiment Station. Huh. Food storage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do you just appear? My dad used to put me on his shoulders. It's not important anymore. Okay, just gonna say the same thing. Uh, what have we got? Have we got anything? Do we still? We still have the stuff lying. The level one key card. Look at that. Please insert card key. You manually do it. The game just doesn't do it automatically. That's uh huh. Access granted. Releasing lock. 
And another hallway with some more mist and another monitor room. Um, we'll look at the cameras in this monitor room and then I'll save and then we'll end it. I think we've seen, we've seen what this game is. We've got a good, a good sense of the gameplay loop of this, this, this game. Fisheries control room, fisheries station, food storage warehouse, food storage passageway, gravity control room, gravity training room. Ventilation control device. Okay, so there is going to be a ghost in this area. Cultivation fish summary. Sea bream, flounder, sole, cod, tuna, bonito. Never heard of bonito. Mackerel, sardine, herring, salmon, trout, bass, swordfish. Oh my god, they've got such a huge variety of fish. Globefish, ray, eel, conga, trachrus, Tra never heard of it, dace, yellowtail, flatfish, gobby, stonefish, halibut, barracuda, and sori. Huh. Wow, there's like a really good variety of seafood this place had, right? You think they would specialize in like two, maybe three varieties of fish, but goddamn, there's like a there's, there's like almost a couple dozen varieties of fish here. That's a lot. Get the fishery station. Uh oh. Oh hi there. He does not like it when we look at him. There's something at the bottom of the tank. Ghost does not like it when we try to look at him. What's this? Hmm. Any green marks? We're looking for green marks. Interesting how we get, when we zoom in on a far away wall, we can, Where? we can penetrate the fog. But when we zoom out again, the fog. Huh. Fog comes back when you zoom out. Oh, hi there. Weird. So you've got one ghost walking around the environment who gets pissed off when you try to take his picture. And there's one guy who is doing something. He's not drowning because he can very easily get his breath, but he's intentionally holding his head under the water. Is he breath training? Is that what he's doing? Interesting.
What's in here? There's a weird tapping noise. Why does this open? Okay, I can hear a ghost. Why doesn't this open? It's the floor, you moron. I don't know, maybe there's supposed to be a... Oh, green mark. What are you? This is all the food we have left. I see. Don't mention this to anyone. We'll still mine as planned. Hey, it's that dude. Director, our company will... This facility... No, I don't think so. Our company should know the value of the stone. It'll be all right, but only if I have that stone. Haven't you been listening to everyone? Since we started using the red stone, so many people. Silence! Director! The stone saved this facility and brought success with it. That stone granted my wish. That gives me hope. Don't worry, everything will be all right. Interesting. More about that mysterious stone. There's that ghost just banging on the floor. Okay. Food storage passageway. That's just where... That's just the passageway outside this room. Not that interesting. Gravity control room. Oh wait, no, there was another camera. There we go. Oh, and we've got a green mark. Control system monitor. Some kind of key on the floor. Oh, cat. Gravity training room. What was that noise? I hear sighing. Oh, what's this? Coin? Something? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, I think that will do for this video. This game's neat. It's got like a really like it's 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 very 
it's a very like like sedate sedate paced uh, game I kind of I kind of really enjoy the vibes of it it's definitely it's not scary it's more spooky rather than scary you know but that's okay I do enjoy the vibes of this game. It's like a good, there's like a good mystery going on here. You keep hearing like clues, something about a stone. Um, the facility is clearly struggling before whatever happened, happened. You keep seeing references to like old outdated equipment, faulty equipment, people like grumbling about their working like conditions. Interesting, interesting thing. When we back out, we can call. All right, cool. Yeah, thank you for uh, joining me. Uh, tomorrow, I'll play. Tomorrow, I will play another. PS2 horror game and I think next time we'll play something a little bit more action focused shall we we'll play something that's less 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 vibey than the last two we've looked at all right thank you for joining me my name is the real blue dragon and I shall see you next time goodbye <laughs>